Welcome to Azerbaijan. And the capital city of Baku, which is in the midst of one of the most exciting and cutting edge urban transformations in the world. Azerbaijan is located on the shores of the Caspian Sea at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Join us as we show you how this 21st century city with over 2,000 years of dynamic history is reintroducing itself to the world. From a UNESCO World Heritage walled city to the buildings of the future, we're going to show you why Azerbaijan and Baku are reaching new heights. Hi, I'm Tim McNaught. And I'm Brad Kessler. Baku has been my home away from home for over the last two years. And I've spent the last year living in Azerbaijan's second largest city and first capital, Ganja. Around Baku, we're known for our hit viral video, Baku State of Mind. A parody to the popular song, Empire State of Mind, in which we pay tribute to the amazing city we love so much. Through our time living here, we've come to truly appreciate and love this country, its culture, and their people. Plus, we've been able to experience firsthand the extraordinary changes that are taking place right here. Around the turn of the 19th century, there are only around 14,000 people living in Baku, many of them right here within the walls of the old city. But once the city's first commercial oil started to flow, Baku became a boom town. The population grew in just 30 years to around 400,000 people. And by 1915, half of the world's oil supply was coming from right here in Baku. The president of Azerbaijan just announced an aggressive plan to lead Baku to 2020. The government is spending $6 billion a year over the next 15 years to create over 500 new structures. Azerbaijan has been known for centuries for its world-class artists, musicians, and writers. And what better way to celebrate this cultural heritage than to showcase all three unique art forms under one single roof. The Heyder Aliyev Cultural Center takes up over 50,000 square meters. That's a whole lot of roof. The center is designed by the firm of renowned British Iraqi architect Zaha Hadid. What is unique about the Heyder Aliyev Center is that it's a single surface working as an architecture landscape um, unifying all these different programs and spaces. How did this building start taking shape? Well this is a public building for uh, Azeri people, for Baku citizens and it's a building which blurs inside and outside and welcomes you, embraces you and takes you to higher levels and different adventures inside. In Azeri culture there's this romanticism in their songs and in their folkloric art so we wanted to give that sensuality but at the same time we want to do something powerful. It really is a unique shape that had to be a really challenging engineering uh, feat. Yeah, we have concrete core and we have a steel space frame which allows us to do this free form. These panels, have they been custom made? We're able to solve this by making a mold which actually can adapt. So instead of doing different molds for every panel, it's like we make a mold which transforms and adapts that shape. That every panel is different. It's all complex geometry. Some of them are flat, some of them are single curvature, some of them are double curvature. This is amazing. We're riding all the way up to the top of the culture center right now. This building's designed as a sharp, curve-like structure that repeats through the entire building. It's unique wave-like design that swoops all the way up to the top. We're sitting on top of this steel pipe right now, which is called the space frame, that interlocks in a geometric pattern. People are surprised that the outside exterior adventure continues inside and reinvents itself. The idea is to have a design for an open air feeling within the building. There are very few support columns. It's just one continuous flowing wave that undulates, rises, falls, and crests right here at the top, 240 feet above the ground. To dare to dream is something else, but uh, to dare to build it is, is courage. Another game changer is happening right behind us at the Crystal Hall Arena, home of the 2012 Eurovision Song Contest. Located at the new National Flag Square, Baku Crystal Hall will seat up to 25,000 fans, making it the largest concert venue in all of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan took first place in the Eurovision Song Contest, and that won them the right to host the event this year in 2012. After finding out that they won the contest, they had a new design for a concert venue meaning that from the start to the end of this project, it'll be completed in under one year. 
Only one kilometer from this modern building lies the heart of the original settlement of Baku, dating back to the 12th century. So here we are in the old city at the Flying Carpet Shop with our favorite carpet salesman, Ramin. Best carpet in Azerbaijan from Guba and Shirvan. This carpet from Shirvan. The color here is natural. This is Baku design, Buta. Buta is symbol of fire, who was believed in fire. And this is all handmade? Yes, here everything made by hand. Best carpet uh, in the world from Azerbaijan. Which is why Baku is constructing a building as unique as its carpets in a museum devoted entirely to celebrating them. We're here on site of what's soon to be another iconic landmark here on the shores of the Caspian. This unique building is built in the shape of an unrolling carpet, which will house the newest carpet museum in Baku and is already nearing completion. In fact, it is scheduled to open in May 2012, just in time for the Eurovision Song Contest, when thousands of tourists will be coming to Baku. And within this structure, there's actually four floors that are going to house Azerbaijan's history of art and heritage in its carpets. It's no secret that Azerbaijan wants to bring the Olympics to Baku. So while you're redefining a culture and a skyline, why not make an Olympic stadium part of it? Scheduled to open in 2015, Baku Olympic Stadium will be one of the most prominent city landmarks. It's here where modern architecture will meet at the crossroads of the modern athlete. The stadium capacity will reach 85,000 in games time and return to 65,000 in legacy mode. The field of play has been designed with excellent sight lines for both track and field and football. Another shining example of Azerbaijan's enthusiasm for sport is the new Baku Sports Center, a modern venue with a high-tech design. The complex will provide facilities for a variety of sports under one futuristic roof. Azerbaijan is known as the land of fire. For centuries, travelers have been coming to the Abshron Peninsula to witness the mysterious fires that light up the hillside. These flames are produced by natural gas and oil deposits just below the surface. This fire played an important role in the ancient Zoroastrian religion, whose tradition can still be seen in the region today. The most famous and well-preserved fire temple is right here in Ateshka, just outside of Baku. This temple and the naturally occurring flames it sits upon still remain an important piece of tradition and influence in the lives of the Azeri people. Here we are standing on the 36th floor of one of Baku's most audacious new structures, the Flame Towers. There's actually three buildings that make up the Flame Tower, and we're in the tallest at 182 meters. You know, the most impressive thing about the towers is actually the, the shape. We set out to make towers that were shaped like flames. We were inspired by the ancient idea of flame worship that was uh, dominant in the region that is today Azerbaijan. The idea is mixed use so that you can live, work, and play all in one area. Each one of these uh, towers is a project in and of itself. The hotel, an office, and a residential tower working in tandem to create this sculptural object. Yeah, we're still under construction right now, but what, what will be here? When it's going to be completed, it's going to be a nice bar and restaurant. Uh, since we're at the top, it, it will have the marvelous view of the Baku. As the towers began to come out of the ground, we realized we needed something very powerful working at the base of the building, so it wasn't just a, a project that worked only from a distance. All three flame towers look down on this dramatic atrium. We have three uh, three story retail. It's going to be a very high end retail. We will have five theaters and one IMAX theater. This structure is skylight. It's going to be cladded with glass and it's going to give us, allow us to take the natural light inside. It's very three dimensional and it's uh, going to be a marvelous spot. It was very tricky to uh, install these cranes because, because of the geometry, it goes back and uh, you have all the floors different than each other and at the top it gets very smaller. It has to be designed, it has to be calculated. It was a very challenging job for the uh, crane operators as well. So this is some of the world's most modern architectural technology and it's happening right here in Baku. It's great. <laughs> right. we, are, we are part of it and we are proud to be part of it. For me the most special thing is, is that sculptural object sitting there up on the hill. You don't see that uh, any place else in the world at this scale. People invariably are going to Baku now and looking up at the hill and seeing these buildings and it still takes my breath away. For a project of truly enormous proportions, look no further than White City. 
Essentially a city within a city, this project is larger than Monaco. This breathtaking plan is being designed by some of the world's most game-changing architects. For more than a hundred years, this, this area was called Black City because it was very industrial. So we're going uh, to clean it up and to convert it from black to white. The project area is uh, 221 hectares and 39 are going to be green. So it's going to be a very green area. And we expect about uh, 50,000 residents. And where did you get the inspiration for a lot of these buildings? I mean, I, when I'm looking at this, I see parts of maybe Dubai or parts of uh, London or, or Western Europe. Uh, we involved uh, very experienced partners to help us. It was Atkins from the UK, Foster and Partners from the UK, and f and from Pasadena, California. They've been studying um, uh, the most famous and the best cities of the world, uh, trying to find the right density, the, the right number of stories, the right um, the facades for buildings. So you will see uh, Paris-style buildings. You will see high-rises. So it's a mix of classic with modern. What other projects have they done around the world? What are they known for? The most famous one is Burj Al Arab in Dubai. Uh, Dubai Metro, uh, Oxford Circus regarding uh, transportation. And what about Foster and Partners? Uh, the British Museum, the, the Gherkin Tower, the Reichstag Building, the Hearst Tower. Everything is happening right now on the shores of the Caspian Sea in Baku, Azerbaijan. Near the scenic seaside boulevard, you'll find Port Baku. It's a Port Baku brand because we have Port Baku Towers, we have Port Baku Residence, Port Baku Avenues and um, Port Baku Health and Wellness Club. As you can see, the business towers is already completed and waiting for the people who will come and work here. We are going to deliver a project like substantial completion March 2013. We try to build one of the best projects for today in Baku. Just like its skyline, Azerbaijan's infrastructure is undergoing major surgery as well. Here's the best example, Heydar Aliyev International Airport. A new terminal is planned for completion in 2013 and is designed to meet a projected demand of 3 million passengers a year, a 50% increase. Designed by Arup, the new terminal includes a tapered facade, which gives the building a unique appearance. The innovative shape allows light from the facade and roof to enter the space. the sky and the flame towers, witnessed the ingenuity of the Haydar Aliyev Cultural Center, and gotten a first-hand look at a cutting-edge urban future in Baku, White City. This is the new Azerbaijan, a place that's changing right before our very eyes. What will Baku look like in the year 2020? Only the future knows. But one thing's for certain, Baku is reaching new heights.